Hey guys, come along with me as I pack for a four night ski trip for myself, my husband, and as a surprise gift for my two kids who are turning eight and 10. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Asai. I am the owner and travel advisor of Scenic Views Travel. I specialize in Mexico and the Caribbean. However, this time I'm taking you along for a ski trip. So stay tuned to see what we're packing. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. We are going skiing and I wanted to bring you guys along to pack with me. Um, here's a little bit of backstory. It is my son's eighth birthday and my daughter's 10th birthday all within about 20 days of each other. And this year we decided to surprise them with a ski trip with some friends of ours. They have been dying to go. The last time we went was about two years ago. So they were pretty little, uh, just six years old and eight years old. And I'm hoping that this year, actually, we're five and seven now that I think about it. Nine, eight, seven, yeah, because they're almost eight and 10. So they were almost six and I can't do math. <laughs> they were almost six and eight the last time we went. So I'm hoping that my son does a better job uh, this time since he will be eight years old and have a little bit more coordination. Last year, we surprised them with a trip to Disney, which was incredible. We took that trip in June of 2023. So this year we're going skiing and they have no idea. And we are going to tell them the day before that we leave. So I'm super excited to bring you guys along to pack with me. And let's get started with the kids stuff. So I'm in my daughter's room and I definitely need her snow bibs here. Let me get them off. Okay, so don't mind my daughter's messy room. She may be very particular about things and then other things she doesn't care at all about. So I need to get some under garment stuff for her. So we've got, ooh, ski socks. See, I almost forgot about those. And we've got like, like a warm undershirt and some warm leggings. Let's see. That's all she needs from here. So we've got these long fleecy leggings and a fleecy shirt to go under her stuff. She will need like a fleece. Do we have a fleece? Yes, here we go. So I'm gonna bring this lightweight fleece for her and luckily our Airbnb has a laundry. So that'll be good. Right, so we definitely need that stuff for sure. Let's go to my son's room. All right, here we are in my son's room. Don't mind my kid's messy bed. We're gonna say hi to Snappy, our little hermit crab. He's in that hut right there somewhere. Okay, so he too needs his snow bibs. All right, so I got his snow bib pants right here. And I need socks. I think I have a couple pairs of like smart wool socks for him. Well, okay, here's one, but where's the other? <laughs> okay, so I have two pairs of socks for him and then we need some under stuff. Now for him, I have quite a bit more um, so they can always share and switch on and off. So there's an undershirt. Here are some fleecy leggings. And then here's another fleecy undershirt. He's gonna love this, it's camo. <laughs> and let's see if I have one more. Yeah, the small one. Oh, yeah, here's another two pairs of socks. Woohoo, okay. See, when you don't go that often, you forget what you have. All right. I need to grab one more fleecy pair of leggings for my daughter. 
Okay, so I thought I'd show off what I have already just for the kids. I have snow bibs for my son, and then for my daughter, we keep it simple. Um, okay, each of them has a fleece top shirt. We have fleece lined leggings here for my daughter and fleece lined leggings for my son. And then between the two of them, they're nearly the same size. Um, we have four different shirts that they can wear. And then I feel like I'm missing a pair of socks. I had another pair. Oh, there they are. So I have five pairs of socks between the two of them and we have laundry that I can do as well. Um, I'm gonna grab some swimsuits and add those. Now I think the pants I'm gonna throw into our helmet bags that we have um, since they are quite bulky. But I just realized we got helmets for our kids for their birthdays. Uh, so they may not fit in those bags. We'll have to try that and see. Okay, so to add to this, since this is kind of the layer I'm working on, oh, let me go get bathing suits. So I found another under set for my daughter, these Cuddle Duds matching base layer set that came from my niece. So I will bring those as well. And then I got a swimsuit for my son and then one little two piece for my daughter. So since I have this stuff out, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out what I need in these categories for my husband and I. So I just pulled out everything for my husband and I, and I don't know why, but my camera stopped recording. So I'm going to just show you everything that I pulled out for our trip. So I found three pairs of ski socks between the two of us. I feel like we have another pair, but I have no idea what happened to it. Um, I think I showed two suits for the kids. I'm actually gonna go grab one more each just in case these are wet because our Airbnb does have an indoor pool and hot tubs, best part of skiing. So let me go grab two more suits really quick for them. Okay, I'm back. So I grabbed this cute pair of trunks for my son and then this cute little two-piece oh, will match for my daughter um, right here. So they each have two bathing suits and then I have two suits for myself, which I had to narrow down. I did grab a little cover-up. I don't know if I'll need it, but I'm gonna grab it anyway. Um, so I brought this Billabong suit which I've had for a few years now. And this RBCA suit that I got, um, I think last year, my husband got it for me. He's got a little bit of a swimsuit obsession. So I'll go through my stuff first. So I have my ski pants here, which are from North Face and I love them. They're lightweight, but they're warm and they fit really well, which is the most important part. So I have that. And then for my base layer, I have my Nike thermal fleece lined. These are awesome. They're just a touch too big, but I got them at like TJ Maxx or something for like $12. And I have an Under Armour um, compression shirt which is great. Sometimes it's a little too tight and warm for me. So I also have this one, which is a little more fitted and they're all fleece lined and meant for the winter. They're all that cold gear stuff. And then this cute little um, quarter zip, which I have that. And then um, it's not gonna be super cold up there cause it is the middle of March right now. And we're going to Vermont. Um, but I have my Patagonia fleece quarter zip right here. Um, the nice thing about going to Vermont is that we're driving, so it doesn't really matter how much luggage we bring. However, I am a little bit more of a minimalistic type of person, so I'm trying not to overpack um, because I hate overpacking. So for my husband, I grabbed him two Billabong suits to bring. 
for the hot tub, one there, and then this one, he got these last year on sale. Check out their clearance sales, they're always really good. And then for his ski stuff, I have his pants, which are also North Face. And his Under Armour compression shirt, just like mine. And then I actually have two base layer pants for him. Um, we have this pair that he's had forever and they're fantastic. They're warm and they're, you know, nicely fitted. They're cold gear, but he has had a problem with pants between his leg and the ski boot. So a couple years ago, I actually bought this pair for him, which is just some Dick's Sporting Goods brand, but they're warm and I hemmed them to just where the top of the boot goes. So he'll bring both and figure out what he feels like wearing. So that is what we have. And now I'm gonna get the rest of our snow gear together just so I don't forget that since I'm on the same track right now. So let's go do that. Okay, here we are in my messy closet. We live in a split foyer, so there's not a lot of space for anything. So we have to create space everywhere. So. Let's grab the couple things that we need from here. Um, I will definitely need a beanie. Which one? They're both new. I'm gonna go with this one. Cause this one I just got for Christmas, super cute. We'll grab my husband's here. We need, I don't know if we're gonna need these, but I have these bal balaclavas. Whatever. Anyway, we have these to keep the kids warm. Um, I, I don't think we're really going to need them, but I'd rather have them and be prepared in that way. So that is my, this one's my son's. We have so much crap in here. Okay, here we go. This one is my daughter's same brand, this black strap brand, which is great. I got them on Amazon. And then I have, we have this camo one. I don't know if this is my oldest daughter's or my husband's. I honestly don't think we're going to need them, but we'll see. Um, I think I'll just bring two black ones. We have two black Nike ones. We've had them for years, but they work great and they're perfect. And I guess just in case, we don't need those, but we need a little extra neck warmth. I'll bring these little Columbia, yeah, I don't know, whatever they're called, but they do a good job. Um, especially you just wanna tuck your chin in and stay warm that way. So we'll bring those. And then we need to grab gloves and mittens, which are right here. So my husband's, let's see. No, these are my kids, let's see. All right, so we have, my kids have these Burton mittens. We got them a year or two ago for them. They're great. Mittens are the way to go, man. I love my mittens. I'm wondering if I should bring, the only, <laughs> the only downside is they lost the clip. Look. The last snow that we had, they lost the clip that clips them together. So that really stinks, but they do clip together or snap together like that. So that's good. So I have those. I don't know if I should bring inserts for them. I, mean, I feel like when my hands and feet get warm or get cold, like that's the worst. So I guess I could bring little stretchy gloves to go inside their mittens. Um, because like, so these are my husband's. These little inserts came with his gloves, which are these Dekine gloves. He prefers a glove. Um, I don't. And ah, look at this. He lost his too. Well, that's not very good. All right. So those are gone. So I'm just, oh man, these are really showing their age, aren't they? Look, he's lost his whole like nose wipe thing there. Maybe next Christmas. Anyway, I'm gonna just shove his little inserts in here. Now, unlike the kids, we don't have any neat little snappy things on ours. So 
so those are my husband's. Look at this. He has a lift to get in here. Ooh, that reminds me. From Boar the last time we went. I should probably throw it away as I put it back in there. All right, and then I have mine, which are right here. And I also have a Dekine. I'm the only one that has my clip. Look at that. So mine are also Dekine mittens. Um, they are fantastic. And I have little inserts in mine too, and they came with it. I think yeah, the other one's in here. So they're awesome. They're like touch screen. So when you're on the lift, you can have your mitten, you know, hanging from your wrist. You can have your hand out. You're not freezing to death and you can use your phone if necessary. Just don't drop it, obviously. So there we have those. I think the only thing I need to grab now are stretchy glove inserts for the kids and their beanies, which I think they wore to school today, even though it wasn't super cold. So I'm gonna go take all of this to the bed and figure out what to do from there. Okay, so I actually think what I'm gonna do is on Friday when I go to really make sure everything is packed is see what will fit into our boot bags. We have these backpack bags that keep our ski boots and helmets and goggles in there ready to go. And then I can probably put definitely our mittens and hats and these things. I would like to be able to try and get our all our ski pants in there too. Um, the backpacks are only, I have one and my husband has one. My kids, we rent for, they don't have gear yet. So I don't know what we're gonna do there, but um, we'll figure it out for now. I think I'll go ahead and put some of this stuff into the suitcase and see how we're doing from there. Okay, I gotta grab all my packing cubes and my toiletry stuff, which I will get, but I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling what I think I'm gonna bring for myself. So let's start with some cute sweaters and stuff. And I just realized that I have so much ironing to do that I'm probably gonna have to do that first before I even finish what I'm doing here. But I can get started with what I have already. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna bring this sweater because it is super warm and cute and comfy and I like how it's cropped and it is from Lulu's. I think for my drive up, I'm gonna go with my tried and true and this looks so faded and yucky, but I love this hoodie. It is so comfortable and fleecy and it's perfect for a long drive. We have about a six and a half hour drive to get there. So I think I'm gonna wear that on the drive. I'm gonna wear my new fleece lined with a feather, Fabletics leggings. So I will wear this the day of to drive up and I will put on a tank top. So I have a tank top to go underneath. So there's a tank top for that one. We're only going for, so I don't need a lot and we're gonna be mostly at the Airbnb anyway. I think we are going out to dinner like twice, but we're gonna bring food and stuff for the rest of the time. So for shoes, I am probably honestly only bringing my Sorrel, Sorrel, Sorrel boots. They're amazing. Um, I don't think I'm gonna need like snow boots and these are waterproof, um, so comfortable and warm. And like I said, I don't think I need snow boots. So I'm gonna wear and bring these so this is my ironing pile, but these are all the things that air dried and that I need to now iron, especially this, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to bring this sweat sweater, bring this sweater, and I might bring this one too, which is super cute. I need someone to do my ironing for me. Want to come help? Okay. So I have my big gigantic toiletry bin here, and this is well, really not even just toiletries, but like all packing stuff in general. So like these are all 
packing cubes, which I will need for like underwear and stuff. So I need those. These are like big well, Ziploc bags and zippered plastic bags for toiletries and then little like container bag types of things. I have shoe bags, a laundry bag, which I should bring. Um, what else? Packing cubes. This is a toiletry bag, so I used to use this as my makeup bag. But I think it's too darn bulky. It's just when I pack it up, there's just too much crap in there and it's so hard to close. So I bought a long time ago these, not a long time ago, like a year, two years ago. There's a set of three clear zipper, set of three clear zipper bags. Um, and now I use one for makeup and one for like toiletry stuff. And I just, so I just got these. So again, my camera turned off, um, but I got the kids body wash mostly filled up. That's good enough for me. So we have that. And then I'm just gonna finish getting all of my toiletries together. All right, so I finished transferring everything into these little bottles and these are great. So these, this size is 30 milliliters and then this is 50 milliliters and then these ones are 100 milliliters. So to compare, this is Olaplex shampoo and the bottle is 200 and I think 85 milliliters and this holds 100. So I went ahead and just filled it up because we've got other plans for the year. Um, and then another little trick that I have that I actually just did the last time we traveled is I have these old contact um, cases that I snipped in half and then filled them with various things. So like I have my Retin-A, um, I have hyaluronic acid and moisturizer and other stuff in here because I don't need a ton of this stuff, but these are leak proof, whoops. And I can put just enough in there for the few days that I need them. So those are great. Okay, so I have found one downside to these bottles so far. So this is my little toiletry case that I'm trying to put everything in and they don't quite fit this way. So I guess I'm gonna have to lay them like this, but the fact that they're flat, you know, like flattish, means that all of these will fit in here no problem with all of the other stuff that I need to bring too. Okay, so it is stuffed to the brim but I was able to get everything in here. Now, keeping in mind that I do have some of my kids' stuff and my husband's stuff in here, um, and hopefully I don't have much left that I need to pack um, other than makeup and stuff, and that will fit in one other bag because I am trying to be sort of minimal. Okay, so we just got this new suitcase for Christmas. It is a medium size a uh, checked bag, but I love it. It is Samsonite, you know, you've got the handle, the spinner wheels, spinner wheels, if I could get my camera in the right spot. And then I love the integrated um, locking mechanism here, which is fantastic. And then it's got the TSA lock and you just slide it that way um, to get it to open, so. Let's take a look inside. This is a Samsonite, whoops. This is a Samsonite suitcase. So you have the one zippered side here, which is great. Again, this is the medium size, so this is a checked bag, but we are driving, no need to worry about weight or anything. So you have a dry bag here, or like, I'm sorry, you have like a wet bag here and then this is just a regular dry bag pocket. And then this lifts up and these like strap in here. And this is a compression thing. So you can pack all of your stuff in here and then clip this here and 
snap these and then pull on the strap and it'll compress everything down. So since we have that, I may not need to worry about whether or not the, um, all the, whether or not all the pants and things can go into the boot bag. So let's see how we do from here. So I have gone back and forth for a long time over whether or not I actually like um, packing cubes and I'm still not sure. So the last time I went to Mexico, which was in January of 2024, I kind of used packing cubes. Um, I kind of did, <laughs> I kind of didn't, I didn't on the way home. Uh, my bag was packed and I wound up doing uh, carry on only. So I had a ton of crap in there. I mean, a ton of crap. And I managed to find a new way to pack everything. And anyway, I found a whole new way to pack everything. Um, I actually, of course, found it on YouTube. Um, and this is not the way you do it either. I'm just kind of throwing crap in here, <laughs> which sounds about right, right? Uh, just to see how much space we actually have um, to see how that goes. Anyway, the way that I found was a bundling method and you sort of lay everything out so that it overhangs in this very specific way and then the, you fold it in like as a big bundle. Um, so you're unwrapping, you know, a big clothing present, I guess <laughs> is what you could say. So. are pretty loose and then we just weave this in here weave that in here and snap and pull Let's stuff this in oh my god look at that I and mean, granted a lot of this stuff is like puffy awesome this is great so then this other side I can put my mine and my husband's clothes in here like our everyday clothes and then whatever else he wants to bring like our comfies like I need to bring some leggings and you know socks and underwear and things like that now I do like to use packing cubes for like those little things like socks and underwear Hey guys, so I finished our packing and we headed to Mount Snow on that following Sunday. We had everything that we needed packing wise. The resort was fantastic. It was basically empty and we had absolutely fantastic weather. We even had snow on our second and third days. And sadly, while we had our GoPro, our settings were completely off unless my husband accidentally filmed in time-lapse, which I did input some of that footage here. As you can see, those are my two kids. They went to ski school for half day lessons each morning for the Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday that we were there. And they did an absolutely incredible job. The conditions at Mount Snow in Vermont were actually pretty good. They were a bit sloppy our first day because it was a bit warm. And let me tell you, I am quite glad that I did bring all of the additional warm gear that I wasn't sure that we would need because we did wind up needing it. It did wind up being pretty cold and snowy on our second and third days. Um, and that's when the conditions really got a ton better. Um, and we had, our third day was fabulous. It was powder and there were definitely 
uh, fresh tracks to be had in multiple different areas. Um, anyway, we had a great time. This is the perfect mountain for beginners or intermediates. They have a ton of really wide blues, which my kids did great on. And it was really just an absolutely fantastic weekend. So I just wanted to thank you guys so much for coming along with me packing and on this little snippet of our ski vacation. I know this is a bit different from what I normally bring you, but I wanted to show you a real trip in our lives. We had such a great time. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button and the like button. It really helps out a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.